Holly, hello! I'm a refashionista Sherry, and as always, if you love all things upcycled, refashioned, and vintage, you have come to the right place because every single week I put out, create, publish brand new rockin' refashionista videos. So, if you like it, then uh, why not subscribe, throw me a like, share your fave tutorials of mine with your online circles, and let's get everyone living a more sustainable lifestyle. So you may remember in my last video, I created a very cozy and very adorable Franken sweater. If you missed it, I shall link it down below for you. But I did have these two sleeves left over from that project. And I was looking at them and looking at them and thinking, hmm, what the heck am I going to do with these? And then it hit me. If you recall, a while ago, I created an absolutely awesome jumpsuit from a pair of PJ lounge pants and a very frumpy frock. And it's now, of course, absolutely fabulous, but I didn't really realize when I made it that the knit top combined with the satin bottom was definitely going to be too hot for the summer weather, which is what I made it for. So I was thinking that these sleeves are pretty much an exact match to the blue of the knit top. So you know what? Today we're going to do a really easy refashion and I'm just going to add these sleeves onto that jumpsuit I previously made, which again, it'll be linked down below for you. And um, we're going to make it into something that I can wear in the fall and winter. So let's get making. <laughs> For this quick and easy, let's make something cozier project, all you need is your thin strapped dress or jumpsuit or top plus a pair of existing sleeves. Now, you can just use sleeves chopped from just about anything to achieve this look. It is very, very easy. And because we're just combining two garments here, there's nothing complicated whatsoever about this. Now, I myself am not a huge fan of thin straps because I have a generous chest and I cannot ever go braless and strapless bras just don't work for me. So I really do prefer having something around my shoulders because I am a Gen X and we were raised to never ever ever have your bra straps showing, which thankfully is something I am not passing on to my own child because you know what? Who the hell cares? But it's just something that has totally stuck with me throughout the years and I just am not comfortable with the thought that my bra straps might show. So this is just a really quick and easy tutorial to get rid of that fear. And as I said, this fabric, this knit, and this satin, I have no idea why I thought they would be a good combination to keep me cool in the summer because, no, satin makes you sweaty, and of course knit fabric makes you sweaty. It doesn't matter how transparent or how many holes it has in it, it's still hot. So let's just add these sleeves and um, then I'll be able to wear this again. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to attach these sleeves the exact same way I always attach sleeves, and that means I have my top, my jumpsuit, my dress, whatever, inside out, and I have my sleeve right side out, and that is because when we pop the sleeves in to the armhole area here, the right sides will be facing. You know, I say this every single time we do sleeves, but it's always worth repeating because even for myself, sometimes I forget and, and then you have to unpick everything and then redo it properly. Okay, so I'm going to line up the underarm seam here of the sleeve with the side seam of my jumpsuit top and just pin them together quickly. Okay, and now I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I don't really think I'm going to have to do a lot of stretching at all as I'm stitching, but just to be safe, I don't I don't usually pin everything together all the way, but because this top is shaped quite square here around the upper arm area here, the chest area, I think I'm going to line that up nicely and pop another pin there. 
and then match it up all the way around here. Yes, okay, I think that's going to be fine. So I'm just gonna put another pin up here at the very top, and you can see that I'm using the outer edge of the strap here as my guideline, and then, of course, I'm also going to be using the black thread, so it's going to match the exterior and not the interior, because if I use blue thread, it would maybe be a bit visible on this black here. Okay, so once that's all pinned together, I'm going to go stitch it together and then repeat it on the other side, and we should be done. Okay, you guys, the sleeves are on, and I don't know if I've ever been so excited to flip something right side out, but I think this is going to look too adorable. And I'm absolutely right. This looks so incredibly cutie, a patootie, sweetie, patiti. I don't even know. I am super excited, so let's go try it on and style it up. This is another one that came out so much better than I thought it would. Like, I know I say that a lot, but it's really true. I mean, you always got to remember, I'm not using any patterns whatsoever. This is just kind of, I see something in my head and then I I try to make it. That's That's my entire method. It's up here and then I try to translate it into the sewing machine or the hammer or the paint or whatever the heck medium I'm working with. But... How cute did this come out? And the blues are so similar. It really looks like it was meant to be together and no straps are showing whatsoever. I was a bit concerned that this was gonna slip down, but it doesn't at all. So that is absolutely fantastic. Now, again, if you don't mind your straps showing, more power to you, go crazy. I'm jealous. I wish, I so wish I didn't still have this, this this fear tucked away inside me because there's a lot of pretty bra straps out there nowadays, right? But I just still have this from my toxic upbringing. I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff, but for some reason that one is still hanging on. So if you guys have any tips for how I can boot that and get rid of it, um, that would be great. But until then, I, uh, I think adding, adding some cute little sleeves really made this so I'm actually going to wear it now. <laughs> and again, another one that was so quick and easy to do. Like, if I wouldn't have been filming or anything, this would have been maybe 10 minutes to put this together. So definitely, if you have some sleeves, if you have some kind of sleeveless or strappy garments that you're not comfortable wearing, add sleeves. It's too easy, as you saw. And um, if you don't know where to start with refashioning, of course, of course I can help you. And grab my Refashioning 101 ebook. Sorry, everything just went out of my head there for a bit. I caught sight of my wonderful sleeves again. Anyway, so I do have my awesome Refashioning 101 ebook and everything is in there, but even better, if you take my Refashioning 101 e-course, the epic e-course, you get my Refashioning 101 ebook included in the course. So that, I mean, you don't get any better than that. Plus, as an extra little bonus for you, if you use the code REFASHION50, you will get 50% off of my awesome e-course, which actually makes it less than $50. So it really is a steal of a deal. Click the link down below, check it out, enroll. All of my characters have made some lovely little info trailers over there on the platform, so they'll, they'll let you know what it's all about if you're interested. But speaking of characters, I know I said I wasn't going to do troll time, right? And then I did another one last week and, well, gosh darn it, there's another troll time this week because they just won't stop, will they? And they just keep getting more and more ridiculous. So this one is another one that absolutely had to be responded to. And um, I'm pretty sure that Nancy's cousin Guy is doing it this time because, uh, the troll happens to be a guy. So um, let's see what I'm doing wrong this time. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm Guy. And uh, as you already know, I handle logisticals and security for uh, Refashion Easter Sherry. And uh, today I'm doing the troll time. And uh, yeah, today we've actually got a bit of a record, I think. Today we got four trolls. 
and I think they may all be guys. I'm not sure, but uh, of course, I'm the original guy, right? I'm the best guy. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, uh, you guys know that uh, Sherry actually uh, won a game show. She uh, was the Gen X winner of uh, Battle of the Generations, episode 12. If you missed it, we'll, of course, be uh, linking everything down below so you can go check out her recap. It's, uh, it's fun. It's loads of fun. Anyway, so every single one of these comments is... Uh, from someone who apparently didn't didn't like uh, Sherry winning, it's uh, pretty ridiculous here. So uh, let's uh, let's have a look. Uh, the first comment, this one was from uh, YouTube and uh, was under uh, under the video that was announcing the contestants that uh, Sherry shared, you know, because she was proud to be this uh, on a on a game show. And uh, this uh, character's name is Cheese Ghosts. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, a cheese ghost, uh, that's a fart. So I'm guessing uh, this guy's uh, username is fart. I don't know. Anyway, so cheese ghosts says, Lily is so out of touch with her community. Now, remember, this was just simply a video that was announcing the contestants of Sherry's episodes. What the hell? Like what? And uh, also, uh, Lily is spelled wrong. So, uh, fat, I'm sorry, cheese ghosts. Um, I don't know what you're talking about here. Lily belongs to several communities, just like Sherry does, you know. Uh, we got uh, so many things wrong with this comment. What community are you talking about exactly? I don't understand. And uh, why would you comment that? on uh, Refashionista Sherry's video. Like, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. If you don't like a celebrity, fine, don't like a celebrity. Nobody cares but you, though. And uh, to go and put those kind of comments under just a random person's video doesn't make any sense. Do you dislike Refashionista Sherry? You don't even know who the hell she is. I can guarantee you that. So why comment that on her video? Doesn't make sense. If you're so you know, bunged up with your cheese ghost farts, then I suggest, uh, you know, release. Release. And uh, maybe you'll feel better after that. Okay, next one. Uh, this one is from uh, Big A 753. So Big AA 753. And they say, cringe. Cringe. That's all. That's, uh, that's all that is. And uh, again, what is cringy about being on a game show? I don't understand. It is not uh, at all a bad thing. It is something to be proud of that, uh, you know, Sherry had to go through a lot to get on this game show and she actually had to have a brain and a head too. And then, you know, she actually won. She friggin' won. So uh, how is that cringe? I would like to know. And again, why do you got to write that? Just to be an asshole. That's the only friggin' reason to ever do something like that is because you feel crap in yourself and you got to throw your toxicity out to a stranger online. Why not write congrats? It starts with a C. It would work, right? Anyway, I uh, think they're a bit of a, you know, see you next Tuesday. Anyway, there's another C word for you. See you next Tuesday. Okay. And, uh... Got another one here, and this one's from uh, Mike Thompson, 9253. I don't understand. Why do people always have numbers, by the way? And uh, I don't get it. Don't put numbers. And uh, if, there is, if there's automatically numbers added, then uh, change your username to something that doesn't have numbers. Anyway, um, and uh, this is a good one. This is a good one. So Mike Thompson writes nine times. No, 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 never. So, uh, Mike Thompson, why, 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 why would you write that? What's the point? What is the friggin' point of writing that? Why, why can't Sherry just be proud to be on this show? I don't understand. Or is this a case of maybe you auditioned? to be on the show, and you didn't make it. Oh, that could be possible too, right? That could be possible too. A little bit of jealousy going on there that uh, Refashionista Sherry made it and maybe you didn't. Well, Mikey Thompson there got in a little bit of a strop and decided to write no nine times. Nine times. What a waste of, what a waste of your life. 
What a waste of your life. Anyway, and the last one. The last one here, this guy actually thought it would be clever to write directly to Sherry and respond to her comment on uh, the Battle of the Generations Facebook page when they announced her win. And uh, Sherry wrote very nicely, proud to be the first Gen X winner, yay me. And of course, with a smiley, of course she did. And then uh, this guy who have, absolutely, this is not his name. He does not have uh, his actual face in a profile picture because of course not, of course not. This is uh, the Legionnaire, really, the Legionnaire, anyway. And uh, he felt the need to write on the dumbest show on TV. All right, Mr. Legionnaire, I got a question for you. If it's such a dumb show, why are you watching it? And then, and then going on Facebook, finding that show's Facebook page and commenting on almost every post because this guy is a prolific commenter on the Battle of the Generations Facebook page. He didn't just uh, respond to Sherry, he responds to a lot. But uh, because he did directly respond to her, it, you know, she got a notification. And so what's she gonna do? She's gonna pass it to me and I'm gonna do a troll time about it. So uh, riddle me this, Legionnaire. Why is it, if it is the worst show on television, as you claim, that you not only watch the show, but you take the time to find the social media and then you take even more time out of your also busy schedule. I'm sure you are a very important person in reality, right? But you're taking all this time to read the posts, watch all the posts and then comment on them. Why? If it's so dumb, if it's so not worth it to you, why are you putting in all the work? It doesn't make sense, does it? Or am I totally missing the logic here that when you don't like something, you don't avoid it and just forget about it because who cares? It's a friggin' game show. Who cares in the great scheme of life, right? No, no. You take all this time to research it, to watch every clip you can, to look at all the social media and comment. Like what? Make it make sense, please, Legionnaire, if you can. But I don't think you can because, again, you're hiding behind... Uh, a profile picture that clearly isn't you, and uh, you're also hiding behind a name that's clearly not yours. So, um, I don't know. Again, I don't know what to say. I don't know why people just can't uh, live and let live. It doesn't make sense to me. And I really don't understand why when someone is uh, proud of an accomplishment that uh, not a lot of people, you know, win a game show in their lifetime. But uh, Sherry's proud of that, and uh, these... Uh, Less than stellar gentlemen feel the need then to uh, rip that out. But you know what? You didn't because uh, she's still pretty darn proud. I don't understand. This isn't uh, anything anything that takes away from the fact that she, <laughs> she got in a game show and she actually friggin' won, right? So boo-hoo to you, I guess. Uh, anyways, um, I really hope that uh, the troll times are uh, making you guys think a little bit about uh, what goes on behind the scenes. And uh, again, these are all the really tame ones, but uh, Sherry does have to deal with some uh, really awful ones too. And um, yeah, so I just I just hope you guys are uh, kind of thinking that maybe working online isn't the isn't the most easy thing to do in the world. You know, not not just having to come up with the ideas and create everything and edit and do all the stuff she does as a one woman show, but then you gotta deal with this too. You know, and uh, I don't I don't agree when people say like, well, you put it online. So yes, uh, that's expected. No, it shouldn't be expected that you have to deal with uh, abuse from strangers. You know, it's the same thing. If you're working in retail, you shouldn't have to deal with abuse from strangers. If you're working in a restaurant, you shouldn't have to deal with abuse from strangers. You just shouldn't have to deal with abuse, period. But of course, from strangers, come on, come on, stop it. Just stop. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, I hope, uh, I hope you got a little bit of enjoyment out of this troll time. And uh, until next time, Refashionista Sherry and I, we will, uh, what was it? Ah, stay safe, stay well, and uh, we'll catch you on the zigzag. <laughs> This is Confessions of a Reef.
Fashionista.